Start I've got a yellow yellow border to show what I'm playing at the moment. All right, that's cool. That's awesome. You guys have to start, yeah. Yeah, start. Go ahead. Yeah, I have a hand. Good job we're not streaming this. Okay. Yeah, don't. I'm going to I am actually <laughs> not streaming. I'm, re I'm recording. I'm going to play a land. Yay! Uh, which is video frozen for me? It oh, no. I, it's refreshing. Oh, there it is. So uh, now it's gone completely. He played land. Your turn, Dave. Dave's turn. Yeah. Cool. Should have just said like five ten. Yeah, Richard's it's really it's completely gone. It says it's refreshing. Like it's got the the reload thing, so just go ahead with your turn, Dave. Planes go. All right. Planes Corner. go. All that waiting for that. Um, um, Marsh flats go. Hmm. I'm going to have to get you guys to uh, go. Tell me because uh, 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 I can't see him or hear him. All right, Richard's turn. He is drawing. Yeah. <laughs> I need everything that he's doing. Just important bits. I'm going to play. It'll be interesting. Playing. Wild. <laughs> Someone flying. He's got an evolving wilds on the battlefield. Um, first turn, and I'm going to go and get a land. We're just playing fetch lands. Yep, your turn, Dave. Rich, how comes your snow land still tapped? Oh, sorry, yeah. GT, okay. Jit. Draw. Mm, let's have a Lanura and a Dawn of Hope from past 10. I was about to ask what, what that did, and I realized I don't need to. I can click on it. Nope, that's Inspiring Unicorn. Try again. No, that's De Debtor's Pulpit. Try again. All right. Time Shrike. I'll Paras play... Paraceline. Paraceline. I don't know what any of these cards are. <laughs> I'll play a Reliquid Tower. It works on mine, Dave. An Ick Wellspring, and say go. I'll have to lean in. Gain life, you may pay two if you do draw a card. Create a soldier. Oh, yeah. Dave, on the left hand side, yeah, there's toggle focus layout, and whoever's turn is gets like full. Speed. Okay, yeah, so I've just searched or for a just picked you apparently. Swamp. swamp, yep, and it's your turn, Richard. It's just focused on yours. Oh, it, it should follow yeah, whoever's it. turn it is. That's what I yeah. thought it would. No covered island. No, it's just focusing on you. <laughs> um, I'm assuming there's a setting somewhere. Oh, yeah, if you go click on the options, then preferences, and then switch to focus video on turn change, you turn that on. Okay. Yep. Cool. So when it, when it changes turn, it will uh, okay, pick up. I'm going to pay three. Uh, a change on focus for a realm walker. A I'm realm Richard, Richard isn't currently killing me. So. Richard's uh, playing Richard's a realm playing walker. a realm walker. Yeah, one answer would be good. <laughs> Don't and, can pick it up or not. And Dave's turn. What creature type are you choosing? That's what I'm trying to remember. What's in the deck? Cool. 
I probably will go for giants. I think I've got some giant relevant cards in here. Yeah. I'm going to look at the Kemba. Of my library. Go. Kemba, go. Let's go for a forest. And I will play my three mana cat commander. Because Dave played his <laughs> three mana cat commander. Yeah, but mine's better. Pass the turn. Um, I disagree. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> yeah, actually, pass the turn. Yeah, um, I just posted in the chat what my um, spell table thought was happening whilst I was trying to look for Dawn of Hope. What? <laughs> the first five <laughs> attempts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, it's factory. strange, like a little bit of glare completely throws it off. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, to be fair, image recognition is really hard. Helm of yeah. Awakening. Especially all... this, because it's going to be live. Everyone's got a Helm of Awakening now. It's all spells cost one generic and a less to cast. Everything costs one less? Yeah. I'm everyone's cool. friend. And a servo schematic. I get a colorless servo. Nice. Go. Good thing about the search thing, Dave, is you can just type into it as well. Yeah, I know, but it's more fun to see what it comes up with. <laughs> Your turn, Richard. <laughs> like okay. inspiring unicorn or Tyne Shrike. It's quite nice because it's got effect. I think your audio, Greg, has like a four second delay. It's weird, yeah. isn't it? I'm going to play a snow covered plane. And now it's gone. It was doing it, uh, it does it on Ben quite a lot. Ben ends up with like an audio delay. But like Dave, yeah. seems, Dave seems to hear me pretty instantly. And then yeah, I think Greg's like three or four seconds behind us. Yeah, I think me and you are either in, in sync or whatever it is. But yeah, our audio seems to be spot on. Richard's audio is in sync with me as well. But Dave talks over him, so. Because <laughs> I can't hear him. So this is a... Good... As I'm concerned, he's not there. <laughs> Dave, shut up for a second. What are you playing, Rich? Ghostly Changeling off the top of my deck. Ghostly Changeling off the top of his deck. Ghostly Changeling. Um, currently, I can't see Dave. He's disappeared. Dave, you disappeared. I think I remember what that does. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pass the turn. Yep, Dave's okay. turn. Still there for me. Cool. So Ghostly Changeling is a 2 2 with Changeling and it has one and a black to give it a plus one, plus one until end of turn. Yeah, it's a shade. Just came up on mine. Cool. Can you see Richard, Dave? Um, Sorry, no, Dave's got Kemper out. Has he got anything else in his turn? Agite. No. Can't see it. Uh, equip my Jite onto Kemba. Jite. Okay. Jite on Kemba. Jite is equipped on Kemba. Um, due to the fact that I can't see Richard's poor state, <laughs> I will not factor him into any attacks. He's got a 2-2. Uh, any untapped mana? Richard's got a oh, green-white. Swing at Richard for two. You swing at Richard for two. Uh, Arctic Flats, yeah. Green and, and or white. Yes. Snow mana. He's got a 2-2 two, two out. With Kemba. Dave, yeah. With a, with a Jitter. Well, Kemba, with, Kemba with a Jitter attacking you, Rich. Mana open. Two whites. Two. Uh, whatever, I'll take it. Taking it. Cool. You got a little uh, plus and minus next to your life total, Rich, to do your life. There it's you go. gone You've down done it already. Look at you go. Sorry, slight delay there. Uh, I'm gonna pass ten. Is there a way to record commander damage on this? 
Yeah, if you look at yeah, my two charge or... counters on my G. Yes, if name. you click on your own commander. Yeah. So I do plus two for Kemba. There it is. I'm going to have a canopy vista. Um... I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Draw. Oh, wait. I didn't need to pay. I got one spare mana, don't I? Yeah. Stuff costs yeah. one less. Yes. Um, then I'm actually going to play my commander. And I'm going to attack Dave with Prava for one. I will take one. Stick. I gain four life because of Ikra Shadiki's ability. All right. And then you're done. Good old, good old friendly Greg. And you're done. All right. Done. M Mountain. Unstable Obelisk. Two. Um, prophetic Prism. Draw a card for one. And hmm. I'll, um, well, yeah, I'll take Dave for one. One on you, Dave. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Being targeted right now. Not sure why. There you go. You should have killed it with your GT. Yeah. After combat, I'll evoke an ingot chewer and smash the GT. Uh, that seems unbelievably rude. Uh, in response, I'll kill the soldier and gain two life. Yeah. It's not a soldier, it's a servo, but still, you can do that. And I pass I think the you're fine. The token that was on the field was a white token. Yeah, I know. i got to find a servo. Nice soldier. Your turn, Richard. Turn chat. Draw a card. And look at the top card of my library. So, can I just check David's broad state? Because I can't see anything. Does he not have a 2 j untapped? No. No. He's Where's only got camp. He's. He's got a cap. He never got. He attacked. His last turn, he equipped the Jitte. It wasn't equipped at the start of his turn. Uh -huh. Got ya. So he has two white mana up. No tapped. No untapped blockers. Okay. This is going to make a great video. <laughs> I know, this right? Is, <laughs> it's explaining what's happening a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rich, don't forget that the Helm of Awakening makes everything cost one less. Thank you. That is useful to remember. But also, um, strongly recommend destroying it on site because it's probably helping helping Greg too much. No. Oh, absolutely. I run it in my my artifacty decks as well. So, um, I think I'm just going to pass the turn actually. Sneaky. Thank You'll go, you. Dave. Can one person control the... I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish we could... I 
can get just the David Ford it makes so much. Did we destroy the helm yet? No, is it still alive? It's still alive. The helm is still alive. Cool. Well, I'll have an Oriok Survivors returning my GTA and equipping it. Sneaky. Hmm. Guess who's back? Greg swing at me. You swing at me for two. For two. Yep, I'll take two. That's just regular damage, hey? Commander damage. Okay, regular commander damage. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, then I'll pass down. Untapping. Upkeeping. Are you going to take screenshots throughout the game? <laughs> I'll show it somehow. <laughs> I'm going to have a planes. Um, I'm going to have a, yeah, probably, um, do, do, do. I'm going to pay, oh, just three, three mana, for a Sauron, Lord of Innistrad. Oh my god. Nice. I do need dice for my commander, uh, for my plane talker. So he's going to come in with three loyalty, and I'm going to plus one him up to four and make a token. Do you delete which is in a box over here? Vampire. He says he has lifelink, but he doesn't. So mm. don't listen to him. Yes, he does. Not to be trusted. Why did you not have that? Um, because it it doesn't make a life linking vampire. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does. It's not a knight then. Okay. <laughs> it says it. I knew it was something. That it's it's definitely <laughs> not. It's yeah, not yeah. something it says on the card. <laughs> I was gonna say. The... The thing from um, Spell Table that told me said it had life link. <laughs> um, okay. David, what's David's untapped creature? Someone tell me that. Oriok Salvagers. 4 6. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to attack Greg with Ikra and Prava. Oh, how much damage is that? Um, Prava 1, Ikra 3. Take four commander damage. Two, uh, one, uh, one and three commander damage. They're each different. Yep, it's got that. Okay, so, and then I will gain 11 life. Which one's the big one? Is it Prava or Ikra? Prava's a one four, Ikra is a three seven. Yeah. Come Ouch. On. All commanders, all the time, attacking me. <laughs> you dropped my GTA. It's a good point. Why is it even out yet? Don't worry. Yeah. Um, as I gained life, I'm going to pay two mana off Dawn of Hope and draw a card. Mm -hmm. Nice. Last turn. All right. Duck Deal Citadel. Uh -oh. Um just deciding. Just deciding. One, two, three. Uh Ring of Bright Hearth. Oh wait, two, not three.
Um, yeah. I think I'm actually going to pass the turn. Over to Richard. Mm. No blockers, eh? None at the moment. Except for Amishra's factory. <laughs> Have you got a sack outlet for your servo schematic? Nothing on the battlefield. Right, um, sorry, uh, untap, draw. Um, I'm going to look at the top card of my library. That is potentially useful. Oh, is this exchanging um, board states via... Uh... <laughs> yeah. There's a bit of that okay, going I'm on in the background. Try... I'm, I'm going to try this and see what happens. So I'm going to pay five mana. And I'm going to sell, send Realm Cloaked Giant on an adventure. And try and destroy all non-giant creatures. It's, it's good for me. Others might not like it. So Richard is casting a board wipe for non-giants. Non-giants, yeah. I wish I hadn't paid that two mana to draw a card. Okay. Yeah, Goodbye, Commander. Okay, he's on an adventure. I'm going to stick him over here out the way. Yep. Save your your creatures will die if they're not giants. They've already removed them. They could be giant cats or soldiers. He's already put them in the graveyard. All right, it's slow on mine. I can't see. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Connor. I'm going to try and. I also agree with Connor. If you can um, two, not overlap two, your cards, three, Greg, it'll be uh, handy. All right. So at four total. Yeah. So you kill all my creatures and my planeswalker. And some of Dave's And everyone else's creatures, to be fair. Wait there. I was scared so of rude. the last ability where you steal all my creatures. Um, I'm going to play a Seaside Citadel tap, and I'm going to pass the tap. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume it's my turn as it's come back to me. Yeah, it's now your turn. Yes, that would be the indicator. So is Richard's board state still just... Two is it creatures. an elf and a changeling? Realm, yeah, they're, Realm they're tapped at the moment. And a changeling. And and he's, ta tapped. he's tapped out. They're both changelings. They're both changelings. They're both changelings. It's changeling tribal. So if you want to kill target goat, go for it. Yeah, he's playing tribal tribal. Uh, Helm of Awakening still out, isn't it? Cool. Uh, three for Shield of Caldra. Three for Sword of Caldra. <laughs> wow. Last turn. Dave has a Shield and Sword of Caldra. And a Jitte. I'm going to answer that. Draw. You mean you've got no blockers again? That's correct. Dave has no blockers. Indeed. Chris and Verge tapped. He's on 49, but I just realised that Connor's on 54. He is. Swiftfoot boots. Nice. Go on, hit me. Oh, nice. okay, mm. Do you want to hit Rich? I probably do want to hit Rich. Of course you do. You did uh, kill your planeswalker. 
Um, play one for a Reese the Redeemed. Oh. Nice. This is so cute. Yeah, uh, one should to equip Reese the Redeemed. Should I have played four, not five, for that spell? You probably should have played four. Yes, if it was a five mana spell. I'm going to untap one of my swamps. Um, I'm going to pass the turn. Did you Ooh. pay two for that, Swift for Boots? No. Or was it the Verge you played this turn? That would be why. Yeah, Verge came in tapped. Yeah. I forgot right. that that was the land you played this turn. I'll tap draw. Ooh, interesting. Um, Richard, I'm going to kill off your um, Realm Walker with a Spine of Issa. Target non-land permanent, is it? Target permanent. Even land. Target permanent. Target permanent. Even. Yep. Even land. Then pass the turn. I don't think Greg's used to having so much visible battlefield. <laughs> adjusting to his new camera. Well, so many permanents, right? <laughs> Usually my permanents get killed on site. I'm going to play... I'm going to play a snow-covered mountain. Mm. What's your giant on an adventure called Rich? Oh, um, Realm Cloaked Giant. Realm Cloaked. Realm Cloaked. Giant. Okay, so he's a 7 mana, 7-7 seven, seven for with Vigilance, if you can cast him. Yeah, when I, when I cast him eventually, yeah. The art's um, great. Costing one, it's costing one less, I'm going to play my commander. Morophon! Mm -hmm. Morophon! Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go with Giant. Still, because why not? Plus, it means. Um, so I, I'm going to play a Giant for one less black. No, I'm not. Take that back. I apologize. I'm going to play a Giant for, for one, one less red, one less colorless because of Helm. So, Torium would have cost me one. Oh, it's going to be a requirement process, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I can play it in either order. And I'm going to play that for one less black. And I'm going to pass. There's a, like an attack of the keyboard straight now. So just, so just so everyone knows, a Torium Ruler gets plus one front counter whenever an opponent plays a spell, and a Changeling Outcast... What's the other black creature? It's a 1-1 one, one shapeshifter, Changeling. Oh, cool. that's just what Connor's like. Cool. Was it my turn? Yeah. So it's David's go. I don't know if he knows that. I don't know if he's Yeah, he's starting his turn. But Dave's untapped. Cool, I don't know anything. <laughs> you shouldn't have to do Breath this, brother. This is crazy. What's that? Wrath of God. Boom. Dave. Rough time. Yes. Yeah, I get a counter. I'm, I'm screwed now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, is anyone responding to that? I assume they're not. No. Kemba? I don't know. Connor, did you? Um, I'm going to pay two and reborn. What's that? The one you wanted left. Keeps your guy alive? Yeah, indestructible. Yep. That's fine. I think we board state. Anything else? Nothing else. Any other responses? No. No. Kemba, plus 10. <laughs> Kemba's not equipped though, right? Draw. Not at the moment, no. Mm. I don't know, mana. Isolated chapel. Is Kemba out again? Yep. Kemba is on the battlefield. Yes, Kemba's out. With three juicy artifacts sitting next to him. And Reese the Redeemed on Connor's battlefield. But this is not Connor's elf deck. I'm going to pass that. Yeah. I just can't see David's. No, it's a token deck. All right. Um, hmm. I need a tech outlet. <laughs> need him. Okay. Dorelli's ability. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I need a target if I use the minus two, right? Or is minus two stack an artifact if you do? Triggers to return target artifact. Yeah. I need the target. You need to you need to clear all targets when you. Yeah. Stack. Oh, yeah. Check, to be able to put return stack, you have to have all targets. Yeah, that's what I would. Even if they then become invalid later, but they have yeah. to be there. Yeah, if they become invalid, then it doesn't do much. It's okay. All right, so I still will play. Oh, it's an option. No, it's not an option. One, two, three, three. Play Dariety. Ready plus two to go to five. Discard up to two cards. So I'll discard one card. Draw a card. Hey, baby. A good card. Can't play it now, though. It's pointless playing it right now. So that's good. <laughs> Pass the turn. Turn tap. Draw a card. That's thoroughly useless. I'm going to play my land. It's Goblin Burrows. So that means I can play one in the red to give target goblin plus two plus not until end of turn. Yay! Which is obviously relevant to a lot of my deck. Um, as I've got nothing better to do, I'm just going to make myself a, a giant. What was the yay for? He played a goblin burrows okay, thing that goblins. doesn't have any goblins to help. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Taps for colourless or one in the red, tap it to give target goblin plus two plus naught. Um, pay six because it costs one less for a realm cloaked giant. Realm cloaked giant on the battlefield. And pass the turn. Cool. Pass a le turn. Uh. Uh, yep. Does that give indestructible? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does anyone want to respond to that? <laughs> no. You, you respond first, Connor. 
Um, I'm going to mortify Kemba. Thought you, mate. Shocking. Because that's the sort of person I am. Don't know what, why you what what you're scared of, but. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, Dave. Casting your spells to make stuff happen. It's the fault. Trying to use my commander. Yeah. Yeah, problematic. Stoneforge Mystic? In response. I'm going to tap and sack my Crest and Verge so we can both search our libraries. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to pass the turn when that is done, whilst I'm searching. What did he play? Evolving Wild? Sorry, he played a um, Stoneforge the... stick. His Kemba got killed by Connor with a Mortify. Oh, okay. And then he played a Stoneforge Mystic, and Connor is Cross and Virgining at the same time. Bit weird, having to uh, <laughs> say what's going on while I'm hearing it as well. That's cool. <laughs> I think with the voice stuff, I think if we run a separate voice call next time, it will be better because then we won't, you know, at least if you lose contact with the, the board of someone, you'll still hear them. Sword, did you get Dave? I'm going to do that now. Hell of Caldra. Caldra. Piece number three. He's got the whole Dave Caldra. went and got a Helm of Caldra. Helm kit. All three. All of... I... I got an overgrown tomb and a temple garden. Mm hmm. A blighted woodland. Mm. Could do that. Oh, that's not great. Um, let's go for. Um, I'm going to pay some mana. I want to do that. Um, no, I'm just going to pass the 10. All right. Cool. Untap draw. Ooh, good stuff. Um, I'll pass it already. Discarding Pilgrim's Eye and a Conjurer's Closet. Oh, no. Yes, Rich. Is the Stoneforge Mystic equipped with anything? No. Thank you. Hmm. All right. A Temple of the False God. Top. It's a land for two mana. Two mana land. Play a Basalt Monolith. Yes. Yep. Yep. Part two. Go. <laughs> Bless you all. Bless you, Dave. Thank you. It is Richard's a Richard's untapping. Cool. I am untapping. I am doing <laughs> Just to, to draw some strings of threads together, uh, Richard, your creature has seven power, and Doretti has seven loyalty. That is correct. Yeah, I'd planned on swinging at it, but someone killed my cat. And, and Greg has about a thousand mana. About a billion, Richard. Um, about a billion, sorry, yeah, you're quite right. Uh, 
I know what I'm hoping I can draw. I'm going to let myself be totally persuaded by Connor. I'm going to declare an attack on Doretti for seven. Okay. With vigilance. I'll create about a billion Ooh, mana. Giants attacking Doretti. I'll create about a billion mana by tapping and untapping using the ring of Briker <laughs> for Basalt Monolith. <laughs> right. And... Um, yeah. It's probably the wrong time. I will, I I will, unable obelisk the um the the giant. Is that destroy or exile? That destroys. It's dead. All right. What are you doing with the monolith? Tap and untap it with the ring of bright half. He taps it to add three. He pays three to untap it, paying 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 two to copy it with rings. So it untaps twice. So he can retap it. It untaps. He can retap it. It untaps. Did he, did he tap the two extra then? Can you do yeah. another, another two to start it? These two extra. He's tapped enough mana, I think, because it was untapped to start with. <laughs> It's the lands and stuff he needs. Basically, he needs to have two extra mana to start it all off. Exactly. Um, yep. Seven plus two. Yeah, shouldn't you, shouldn't you have four to... Uh, how much is it to untap it, Greg? Two to untap three. it. Well, three to untap it. Three to untap it and two to activate rings. So shouldn't you have five mana to untap No, because you use the he three mana... To that, untap it. You use the three mana from Basalt Monolith to untap it the first time and you copy that with the rings. So you need two extra mana. Yes. Okay. And he took that first kickoff. That's what I was checking. Cool, cool. Right, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play Marathon again. Yay. What did you do with that man? Uh, He's casting Marathon. He did his obelisk to kill Richard's giant that was attacking him. I think of what to name. What else I don't think I went for dragons in the end. I'm going to say slivers just in case I've got a sliver in it. Uh, pass, sorry, pass ten. And it's passed to you, Dave. Dave's go. Carl, I'm assuming that's legal, but I have no idea what he did to kill the giant. <laughs> Unstable obelisk, Connor, Dave. Do you think I should reset and see if I can get Dave board up? Which is just... <laughs> yeah, um, try, try it now. It could hurt, Rich. It could, it could hurt completely. It could hurt. Now, while I've got a bit of time before we get back yeah. to me, I'll give it a quick go. Yeah. Oh, he's that into play. <laughs> anyway. What is he typing to someone else? Uh, just go, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, let's give it a go. Is he restarting? Yeah, he's just rejoining. Yeah. See him. I don't know if he's talking. He's vaguely coming back. Okay. Have something. Mm. Yeah, I can hear you just about. Hey, really quiet. But... I can see him. That's it. Yep, can see Richard. Apparently, oh, no, I can now see Greg. 
just the missing one. So it's all good? Right. Might be on... You, you say you're missing Greg now? Full moon. Perfect. No, he's on full, I think. I was missing Greg, but he appeared after a short delay. Cool. Yeah, cool. Dave, can you see everyone? Nope. Richard oh, was there for a second, then vanished again. Oh. Yeah. That's a weird thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well. Why don't you, why don't you try to refresh now, Dave? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Kemba's coming back. Is he? Is it David's turn? Greg, to... David's back on now. There you go. Greg. Can you guys Still hear no Richard? Still no Richard. Well. I don't think it's going to work normally. <laughs> I can hear Dave. Say again? He can't see you still, Richard. That's okay. We've tried. Dave's back. Can you... And I can't see him now again. That's all right. Let's just keep playing. And then for game two, if we can get through this one, something else. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We can use Facebook. Yeah, and maybe use Zoom instead. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, there we go. Sorry, resolves. Where are you in your turn, Sorry. Dave? He's entered the building. First moon phase. Okay. Um, I'm. Going to pass through combat. Pass to combat, I should say. Mm -hmm. I assume you care. No, no. Keep going. Combat's gone. gone. No combat. Second main phase. Yep. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to announce each phase. <laughs> uh, end of turn. I don't know what you're after. <laughs> Blighted woodlands. Yep. Yeah, planes. And where are you? A swamp. Then I'm going to pay three at four and make a one one soldier with lifelink. Yep. Draw. <laughs> Helpful. That's not the card I was meant to put down. That's a planes card. Let's play a planes. pay four for Prava. Prava's back. 
going to pay one to equip Prava. I'm going to attack Doretti with my two five with lifelink. Just a two five. Two um, five with lifelink. I like that. Make about a billion mana with tapping Vassal paying two to untap it a million times and I'll convert a, one of those mana to red and I'm going to star storm for about two less than a billion so that should burn everything to death in response yep I'm going to pay two and unbreakable formation creature so I control gain indestructible until end of turn. Okay. So Doretti is gonna take two. Everyone else creatures die. Arrgh! Okay. Right. Bond by activating Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. Put Helm of Caldra into play. And pay one to activate Helm of Caldra. Yep. I get a Caldra equipped with Helm, Sword, and Shield. I thought it was zero to, uh, to do Cal Caldra's ability. Cost one. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Did Doretti take two? Doretti took two. Doretti's down to five. The rest of my creatures die. I'm going to gain two. I'm going to... I'm going to pay to draw a card off of Dawn of Hope. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Can Richard hear me, by the way? Richard, I'm going to pass the turn. I don't think hear? so. Does he you know Caldra? Rich, uh, Dave, Dave flashed in the last piece of Caldra, and he now has Caldra on the battlefield. With everything equipped to it. Right. Oh, I also would have equipped the um, GTA, by the way. You did equip the GTA? Yes. Yep. Does he? Yeah, with we didn't Shikari out, it was instant speed. All right. Um, I'm done. Yep. Okay. I'll make, in my main phase, uh, a million mana. And play a trading post for three mana. Um, I will sacrifice the wellspring and duplicate that to draw three cards. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. You're really breaking up. Really? How does it draw you two, uh, three cards? So the Wellspring itself will draw a card, but because the um, the Trading Post ability gets me a card for sacrificing an artifact, and then I duplicate the Trading Post ability with uh, the rings. Does that yeah. mean you have to sacrifice another artifact? No, no, the sacrifice is the cost. No, you sort of paid the cost. Okay. Um, play Got a Cathodian. Play a Paladin Mirror. Play an Ugin's Nexus. I'll sacrifice the Ugin's Nexus to the Doretti. And bring back 
a conjurer's. No, do I bring back a conjurer's closet? Bring back the unstable obelisk and take an extra turn. I will. Is there two permanents I need to kill? <laughs> Helm is the most. What's the most scary one of those equipment on? The helm gives all of the cool ability, but which one gives the indestructibility? Helm, gi helm gives. Helm gives first strike, trample, haste. Mm -hmm. Sword gives plus five, plus five, and whenever a crit creature does damage to a creature, X and lift. Shield of Caldry gives everything indestructible. Everything. I including itself. Well, all three Caldry all three Caldra pieces and equipped creature. Right. So Yeah, I don't need to do anything right now on that then. Um What is beating me up? It's got the, the rings on it. The not the rings, the the shroud or whatever on it. Yeah, I can I can do that to next turn. Um, boots. The boots. I will activate Mishra's factory and attack Richard for two. Yeah. And start my extra turn. Okay, start my extra turn, draw a card. Um, I'm going to do something cool again, I'm sure. Because I know you all want something cool to happen. I assume that was just draw a card for, for the turn, not... Yeah, just yeah. for the turn. Um, okay, because you said it started the turn, draw a card. This is the extra turn. And that's different. <laughs> it's the extra turn, Dave. Yeah, but you, said, you said at the start of the turn, that's not when you draw a card for draw Sorry, a card. Sorry, my, my draw step, I'll draw my card. <laughs> draw a card in the draw. Yep. <laughs> um, oh, okay. That's what I was checking. Yep. Okay, make an infinite lot of Because I can't see your board state right now, so I wasn't going to those other ability. I need to re click on me to refresh it. Um, it's I just really um, slow connection. Yeah, yeah. It keeps just getting. You keep getting like a little loady wheel, Greg, and your hands are really jolty and stuff. You get really uh, potatoy. It can't. Your it, internet seems to be struggling with the upload. Maybe. I'm the host though, so I don't know whether that means that's my internet's fault. But I, I think uh, it all goes don't through. Think it goes via. I think it goes via their server. You via their server. I'm going to sack the spine it's with, how they do. with yeah, the that's ready that's... to bring back an Ica Wellspring to draw a card. What are you targeting with the spine's ability? Um, that goes back to my hand. I sacked it. It's when it dies, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I draw a card for the Wellspring. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's the interplay you destroyed. Yep. All right. Um, I thought the spine entering levers on. Play a Ravager. Do you win yet, Greg? No, I don't think I've got Yeah, have you got an infinite combo that lets you take infinite turns? If so, just no. announce it. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not at all. And no way to attack people for lethal or anything like that. So don't worry yet. I know you're worried. Um, play a spine. Target. I'm just waiting for the walking ballista to go up here. Yeah, walking ballista would be good right now. Um, spine targeting the Jitto. And. Cool. Um, I'm going to train post sacrificing the Wellspring twice 
to draw three cards. Play Ugin the Ineffable. Because I need cheaper spells. <laughs> Two more left. Yeah. Um, plus Ugin the Ineffable. Play Goblin Water, or I'll do that off the one of the million mana with the Prophetic Prism. Mm-hmm. And pass the turn. Over to Richard. Who was going to be turns? Was that me, was it? Taking my first turns? It's Richard's turn. I'm I need to in top deck row. Yes. Let's have a look. Red, blue, white, green, black. So other scarecrows I control get plus one plus one. Whenever another scarecrow enters a battlefield under my control, I can destroy target permanent. That's the repicking. I'm then going to try and pay three for Mist Form. Mist Form, which is a, a change leg. Yeah, so great. Re 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 king. We've got to kill the king, right? It's a scarecrow, yeah. yeah. Um. Does it resolve first? No. What's it called, Rich? Mist form? It's an ultimus. Yeah, it's just a Ultima. changeling. It's the original changeling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make okay. a million mana. Yeah. And unstable yeah. overlist. Reaper King and duplicate that to destroy the. Um, what's the artifact that you've got, Con, that is keeping the Prava targetable? Swift foot boots. Swift foot boots. Kill boots. And the repicking. So what's the other target? The Swift Foot Boots. Reaper King and Swift Foot Boots. It's Reaper King, okay. Yeah. Um, fast turn. Dave's go. There go Magic Dave. Now, Rich and Dave, if any of you can make me draw into Merciless Eviction or Cleansing Nova or both, that would be great. Please do. Um, no. <laughs> oh. oh. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Wouldn't it be beautiful? I'd even say... <laughs> mm. 
I'm going to the kitchen, so I'm going to mute myself so it doesn't sound like you're being eaten by aliens. Thanks. Dave's turn, is it? Yeah. Yes. This so click? Yep. Nasty. Quit the click. You just have to let me know if Dave does anything that I need to know. I'm sure he will, yeah. No, he's going to attack me, I'm sure. What's that? How big is your creature, Dave? He's going to try. <laughs> nine, nine. Brooklyn, nine, nine. Yeah. Double strike. Was there, was there any response to the equipping? No, you can equip it. That gives it shroudy sort of stuff. Yeah. Which still gives it um, uh, unblockable and shroud. Um, go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing it directly for nine. Um, I'm going to go and get a drink. I'll be back in a sec. Directly dies. Cool. And pass down to Connor. And Connor is still in the kitchen. I don't know if we're better off just hitting Greg. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. He's got infinite mana, so he can just play directly again next turn. I did think that after I'd done the attack. Yeah. If if I want the infinite mana, then I can cast already. I'm limited by the amount of red I've got. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for four mana. Mm -hmm. Our drowsy monument. Seems good. El drowsy monument. Why should I hate that? Nice. That just lets you do stuff at instant speed or something. No, creatures um, flying, indestructible. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, like that's okay. It's permissible. Everything has got is indestructible. Creatures are indestructible, yes. Um, tag Greg with everything. How much is that? So that's two, two, twos with flying and one, two, five with flying. Yep, so six. No, wait, that'll be because of Prava. Six um, plus one. Seven. The seven. soldier is a token, so it gets plus one, plus four off of Prava. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the one I missed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, found Prava. So I'm down to 27. Was that, is that Prava damage as well? No. You're taking seven? No, I'm taking seven. Cool. How much was from yes. Prava? Uh, two Prava damage. Okay. Two. Just two. I'm going to gain three and pay two mana to draw a card off of Dawn of Hope. Mm -hmm. Still not what I was looking for. Let's pay... Three mana for a growing ranks. Yeah. To go with my Eltrazi monument. I can populate my tokens. Yep. Seems good. Seems pretty good. Then I'm going to pay a green for a Farseek. Mm -hmm. I paid one too much for my Wish Silk Cloak. Oh, oh. on tap of land then. Yeah, you could have one of those plays. I mean, the mighty turn might have been slightly different. Mm 
Oh, the next card off the top was Mass Resurrection. Oh, nice. <laughs> don't shuffle, don't shuffle. Just do some shuffling. Make sure it's on screen so if somehow I do get the card I want, I can't be held accountable. <laughs> There we go. Um, unfortunately, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Start my turn. Untap everything. Draw for turn. Do it. Okay. I didn't realize this last turn. Infinite mana. Well, a billion. Right. Sack a spine of his uh, to the. Arkbound Ravager. Just a spine of this uh, targeting Eldrazi Monument. Sack it again. Kill. How are you casting it? Seven mana. It's infinite mana. It goes back to his hand when it dies. Oh. I can I can the board of every other permanent. Except with Dave's stuff, I need to think about goes back how to... to hand when it gets sacked. Yeah. Dave's stuff, I need to think about. So, Dave, is that what you're doing? That's what I'm going to do. Unless you can Connor, stop when you go into your bag of crisps, can you mute? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to do that and destroy each land, each creature, and each non-land permanent that each of you have in all until I get to do the indestructible one of days. Yeah, so I really wish I'd noticed remembered your helm in my turn. So Dave, what's made the, a big difference? What's the indestructible thing? Well, either way, right? I don't know what what's the most in, what's your indestructible thing? What do you mean? What is it? The it's the helm the stats or no, no? Which one makes the others indestructible? Greg, it's Helm of Caldra. Yeah, just search it in the search box. Shield of Caldra is the one that gives everything on my battlefield now indestructible. Shield. Okay. Just shield. Shield is protected. It's a shield. Oh, okay. chaos! Chaos warp. Okay. And I've got about, I've got whatever Dave's life total is on the Arkbound Ravager now as, as points. I've got to resolving Chaos Warp, yeah? Okay, yeah. I assume you've killed all of mine and Richard's permanents as well, yes. yeah? Yeah, I'll kill yeah. all of everyone else's permanents and first. In fact, if he, if he targeted the industry... I can target the indestructible ones. the indestructible things enough times before he exiled it. Yes, I can. I can make to get to forty or whatever he wants. The Ravager can be literally big. I'll can be as big as you want. It can be as big as you want. Yes, because you can keep targeting my indestructible because stuff until you want to deal with it with Chaos Warp. I can only kill one of you a turn, probably. Yeah. Although you got your, you got your man. Yes. You've got your land, so you can, you can do it anyway. Yeah. So what do you get, Dave, as a permanent? Got Raksha. What, sorry? Raksha the Golden Cub. Okay. Raksha the Golden Cub, rather. Then, I'll, the... then I'll kill it. Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure you actually do it, because you hadn't at that point. <laughs> yep. And I'll, I'll kill all the other effects you have, and I'll kill Dave first. Cool. Jimmy first cool. Yeah, the reason why it was annoying is I had uh, Lean in a bonus in my hand, and if I'd remembered about the helm, uh, I would have cast it and equipped it with the... Um, 
Cloak. Yeah. Yeah. Whisper some cloak. Yeah. So it and everything else would have had shroud. Yeah. 